Hello everybody, this is Slim Kirby, back for Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is part 9. We're going to continue where we left off on the Karo Sewers. Uh, if we're lucky, we're going to be fighting a mini-boss in a little bit. As you can see, we got some enemies here. And then that treasure chest we just left behind is... We'll see what it is in just a minute. If I stop acting like an idiot. It's a Starman! So yeah, get all the enemies you can. Uh, I didn't use the Starman very well. I couldn't get the ghost. I messed up a few times. And it went away right here, and without realizing it, I hit the uh, Rat Fink. Or is it Rat Funk? I don't remember already. But I'm going to run away from that random battle, because I, don't, I don't really don't want to edit that out. Okay, going back into this room into this pipe. Now we're going to go over here. Make sure you jump on the little ledge. Jump over the rat think, and go in this pipe. You see that exclamation switch right there? Go ahead and hit it. It'll drain the water in the sewers. And if you jump on that trampoline, you'll just go back to the entrance of the level. So don't do that. With this pipe accessible, we can go down in here. And we got a few things. We got a treasure chest up there. We can't get that one up high yet. We will get it later in the game. And a save block. You can probably you can probably guess what this means. We are getting ready to fight a boss. Let's go inside the pipe. Uh oh, there it is. Before we fight it though, we're gonna equip some items. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I guess I'm looking for, uh, the equip, or, button, I guess. Okay, we're gonna use a flower jar so I can get enough flower points. We have 28 flowers, that's pretty good. I really don't need to use anything else, though. Oh, um, also, Able Juice, that removes any status conditions, and, uh, Pure Water instantly kills a ghost-like enemy. Okay, now we're gonna go to equip. Are we? Apparently not. Th 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 this must be Bloom! Is that a fire hose or his tongue? We'll never know. But we're gonna find out. It's moving! And it's saying Mo Ho Ho! Snack attack? Ah, oh, great. Okay, so jump works pretty well on Bloom. As you can see, it's doing quite a bit of damage. This fight may take a while though, because Mallow's kind of weak, and this guy has a pretty solid defense. If you have Mario's third uh, special move, this battle could be over in a matter of uh, three turns. We'll talk more about that later. So he has a normal attack, he can easily dodge. And he also can eat one of your characters. Uh, with Mallow gone, Mario's by himself taking on the big man. And if Mario dies while um, Mallow's inside, uh, game over. Now he's getting ready to use an attack called Scrow's Funk. It'll turn you into a Scarecrow. When you're a Scarecrow, you can only use special moves and items. You can't run away and you can't... Um, use physical attacks, but I have the true form pin equipped on Mario so it did no damage to me, or it didn't affect me. So let's keep going, we're gonna do more jumping on Balloon. 47. That was scary, I can imagine. Uh, Sleep Sauce, he also has a sleep move. But, if I remember correctly, Mallow has a wake-up pin installed on, so I avoided two burns with one stone. Or, two birds with two different equips, I guess is a more appropriate way of saying it. Let's see, is there anything I can talk about? Um, first of all, Mario's going to sleep. Uh, second of all, if uh, you haven't seen it yet, I posted a YouTube poop test video last night. 
Um, I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good, uh, my final product of it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna really get into YouTube pooping at all. It's just something I felt like trying, and I like the results of it. I thought it was kind of interesting. Let's get back to Balloon. Ooh. I believe we just finished. Oh no, we didn't. Never mind. I forgot how much hit points these guys had. Oh well, he's gone now. If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. Uh-oh, don't like the sound of that. But what can he mean by flood? Okay, yeah, get a good amount of hit, uh, experience points and coins. No level ups in this video, my friend. Okay, so that switch was all holding up that giant gate. But... Water! So apparently Blum was actually being useful. But without him, we can never get to where we're going. Welcome to Midas River. This is the game's first minigame, I'd like to say. It's the first uh, required minigame, anyways. Uh, we're going to save this for next time because I don't think I can finish it in uh, four minutes. I might get like halfway through, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to close it here. Uh, this is Slim Kirby. See you next time when we tackle Midas River and let's play Super Mario RPG. See you next time!